What's going on guys, Blender Bench here, and you're looking at the final result of the Blender to Unreal Engine 5 course that I'm putting out onto YouTube for free. Now, I have one main goal with this project, and that's just to get more people from the Blender community involved in the gaming industry and learning a pipeline that they can go to start applying for jobs. And we talk through all different parts of the pipeline. I teach you guys through step by step. And here's a quick look at it. So section one, we start modeling the modular assets and we go over the importance of keeping a low poly count. Then we move forward to UV unwrapping and packing our UVs and the importance of maximizing our UV resolution. Then we go on to uh, the normal and, and orientation of the faces, making sure everything is in the correct uh, direction. Then we move forward to uh, Substance Painter, which is section two, where we start talking about the intro and uh, how to go about baking maps and getting the normal detail and bumps that you see on real textures of walls. And then we start polyfilling and worrying about how to create masks so we only apply materials in specific areas that we want. Which brings us now to section three, where we go and download and install Unreal Engine 5 and choose a template and start learning the UI and viewport navigation. And once we're comfortable with that, we'll start importing our assets and textures, and then go about creating material node setups to start applying that material to the actual FBX and ensure that there's no artifacts. Once we're done with that, we'll move forward to setting the pivot orientation for each asset that we brought in, then start level building. And this is the fun part where you get to have some creative direction to go the direction that you choose to for your personal environment. And this is also my favorite part of the entire course because you get to bring your environment to life. Now in section four, we look at reference and start to create the different doors that we want on our level and create doorknobs to make it look a little bit more realistic. Then we'll do the entire process that we did the first time now for these doors. So we'll bring it into Substance Painter, create texture sets, export them out, bring them into Unreal Engine 5 and start to fit them in like a puzzle when you start world building. And as a thank you for taking the course, I provide you guys with a couple of FBXs and materials to add life to your scenes. Then once you have those, you can start rearranging those how you see fit, do a quick walk through, then we'll start touching lights. Lights are the most detrimental section of the entire course because lighting can make or break your entire scene. So I'm sure you guys are gonna love that. Then we learn how to scale materials to better fit and sell the illusion that this is a real interior. Then we do a walkthrough, then we'll start adding decals to add more um, story to the environment, make it look a little bit more aged. Then we'll start offsetting a couple of objects to make it look a little less linear, as well as tell a much more grotesque story. Then once we feel satisfied, we'll move forward to particles like fire, smoke, and dust, just to add more depth to the scene. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far and you will enjoy the course. Give it a like, thumbs up, comment, as well as share with people that you think that will be interested in learning a new pipeline for Unreal Engine 5 from Blender users. So also I want to mention that I do have a YouTube membership community which will give you guys access to a lot more props as well as a way of uh, supporting me as an artist. So if you guys uh, like it, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next video.